हेलो गाइज आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी स्टूडेंट एट वी डी जी एम सी लातूर एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्क इन यूर एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दे विल आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कॉमन साइट्स एंड द रिएक्शन इन्वॉल्व इन बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट इज फेज वन एंड फेज टू रिएक्शन सो दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स आई हैव कवर्ड एंड uh, अगर आपको ये क्वेश्चन आता है एग्जाम में बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन तो मेरे ये जो तीन पेजेस है आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly सेम मैनर में लिख के आना है तो आपको मार्क्स मिलेंगे ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेशन द केमिकल अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ड्रग इन द बॉडी इट्स कॉल्ड एज बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो इट इज बेसिकली केमिकल अल्ट्रेशन इट इज नथिंग बट ड्रग मेटाबोलिज्म The metabolism of drug usually converts lipid soluble substances into water soluble and unionized compounds into ionized compounds. Hence, they are not reabsorbed in the renal tubules and they are excreted. So, the common site for bio transformation or drug metabolism is mainly liver and other sites are kidney, intestine, lungs and plasma. next point is bio transformation of drugs can lead to it can lead to uh, either inactivation of drug that is propranolol example is propranolol converted to hydroxypropranolol which is excreted from the body next or it can be uh, active metabolite for, from an active drug there is formation of active metabolite from an active drug examples are allopurinol converts into allozantin it is an active metabolite of allopurinol then digitoxin converting into digitoxin morphine converts into morphine 6 glucuronide then next point uh, or it can convert activation of uh, an active drug into the active in, into its active form these examples we all know levodopa converts into dopamine dpvaprin converts into epinephrine and proguanil converts into cycloguanil now we will learn the reactions involved in the drug metabolism so there are two types of reactions basically involved in drug metabolism let me adjust this first okay okay so first of all drug metabolism reactions first is phase 1 reaction or non synthetic reactions the and second is phase 2 reactions or synthetic reactions so first of all phase 1 reactions or non synthetic reactions the trick to remember this is cord c h o r d so c for cyclization h for hydrolysis o for oxidation r for reduction and t for decyclization okay so first of all cyclization they will ask you uh, examples of this also so the question is be, uh, question kaisa hoga ki what are the reactions and give their examples also okay cyclization means ring formation the example of this is proguanil converted into cycloguanil so the straight chain compound converts into ring shaped compound cycloguanil then hydrolysis in this ester is hydrolyzed with the help of water in presence of the enzyme esterases into acid and alcohol so basically it will break this drug these drugs into acid and alcohols so examples are procainamide lidocaine aspirin and oxytocin they undergo hydrolysis o for oxidation it is nothing but addition of oxygen or negatively charged radical or removal of hydrogen or addition of positively charged radical uh, sorry removal of positively charged radical examples of oxidation are phenobarbitone uh, propranolol erythromycin and uh, in this reactions oxidation reactions it involves the enzyme cytochrome p450 enzymes okay next is reduction in this cy- uh, cytochrome p450 enzymes work in opposite direction example of reduction reactions are chlor chloral hydrate chloramphenicol halothane and warfarin next is d for decyclization 
example of decyclization is barbiturates and phenytoin so basically it uh, converts ring form into straight chain compounds okay so next is phase 2 reactions or synthetic reactions so the question is same explain reactions and their examples okay so first of all the trick is maru sg3 conjugation so jab jab phase 2 reactions or synthetic reactions aaya bolne ka maru sg3 conjugation okay so m for methylation a for acetylation r for ribonucleoside or nucleotide synthesis then s for sulfate conjugation g for uh, g3 so g g g g for glucuronide conjugation next g for glycine conjugation and last g for glutathione conjugation so we will learn this one by one first of all we have phase 2 reaction uh, methylation okay so methylation the enzyme involved in this reaction is methyl transferases example is adrenaline histamine and methyl dopa next is a for acetylation okay so a for acetylation let me adjust this yeah so acetylation the enzyme involved is n acyl transferases example is sulfonamides PAS para minus salicylic acid and procainamide R for ribonucleoside or nucleotide synthesis these are important reactions for activation of purine and pyrimidines anti anti metabolites used in cancer chemotherapy so they are important in activation of purines and pyrimidines anti metabolites used in cancer chemotherapy next is SG3 S for sulfate conjugation enzyme means sulfo transferases and examples are chloramphenicol methyl dopa and steroids so g3 g4 glucuronide conjugation the enzyme involved in this is udp glucuronosyl transferases examples are aspirin morphine and paracetamol next g is for glycine conjugation the enzyme involved is acyl coa glycine transferases example is salicylate and nicotinic acid and last g is for glutathione conjugation the enzyme involved in this is glutathione transferases example is paracetamol so how do we remember these enzymes enzymes are very easy to remember they are all transferases and uh, these conjugations are very easy glucuronide glycine conjugation and glutathione conjugation so i have covered all these topics in this short video so thank you for watching if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends